On the 31st of October 2020 at 6.30 p.m., Prime Minister Boris Johnson began his address announcing the second national lockdown. Here's Elizabeth Lloyd, former chief of staff to Nicola Sturgeon at the COVID inquiry, being quizzed on Sturgeon's relationship with Boris Johnson, in particular during the pandemic. And I want to pick up the messages between yourself and Nicola Sturgeon, which starts 10 minutes into the address. So if we read the first message on the 31st of October at um, 6.40, you say, hitting the 15 minutes between the rugby and strictly to lock the country up. Let us never do this like this. Nicola Sturgeon replies, their comms are behind awful. We're not perfect, but we don't get nearly enough credit for how be much better than them we are. She then replies, this is excruciating. Their comms are awful. Then she goes on to say, his utter incompetence in every sense is now offending me on behalf of politicians everywhere. Nicola Sturgeon says he is a clown. Is it fair to say that the relationship between Nicola Sturgeon and Boris Johnson by this date had completely broken down? Um, I think broken down to a degree overstates what was there to break. So you get the idea. No respect at all for Johnson. Now enter Michael Gove and look at the way he avoids making any clear statement about the relationship between Johnson and Sturgeon. Is the description that Boris Johnson and Nicola Sturgeon were not soulmates something of an understatement? Understatement is sometimes uh, the most effective means of communication. What the hell does that mean? Is it fair to say... Um, and we've obviously, as you know, addressed this somewhat from the other perspective and some of the evidence we've heard already, that they simply did not get on at all. No, I think... Uh... Just a reminder, a few days before this, it was revealed that Sturgeon had written this about Johnson. Then she goes on to say, his utter incompetence in every sense is now offending me on behalf of politicians everywhere. Nicola Sturgeon says he is a clown on one level that very different figures um uh, on another level though they're both um skilled politicians fired by passion uh but they're also people who um knew at a moment <coughs> or moments of crisis the importance of um uh, respecting insofar as possible and working together insofar as possible. What is he talking about here? It is also the case, as the inquiry has heard, my second point, that at times the First Minister expressed uh, her disapproval of the way in which the Prime Minister was operating. Here it is again. Then she goes on to say, his utter incompetence in every sense is now offending me on behalf of politicians everywhere. Nicola Sturgeon says he is a f***ing clown. Um, and it was also the case that there were some people um, uh, in our government and some people working for the Prime Minister who uh, had a, a low or critical opinion of the First Minister. My view is that it was important to, in the interests of everyone, keep relations on as professional a footing as possible. Acting like butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. What a slime ball! Click here for an episode of I Hate Michael Gove.